In this video, we are going to discuss multiplication and convolution properties of Laplace transform. That means, if you are having two signals and their corresponding spectrums, if you multiply that signals in time domain, what is the effect on that spectrums? How you will get resultant spectrum of that multiplied signals? Similarly, if you convoluted those two signal, then how will be the resultant spectrum or frequency domain of that resultant spectrum. So, here that we are going to discuss by taking two signals separately. So, I am going to consider two signals x1 of t. For this, if the Laplace transform is x1 of s and x2 of t, for this the Laplace transform is x2 of s. These two signals I am going to consider to define multiplication and convolution property and to prove. So, here first I want to deal with convolution property, convolution property. So, convolution property states that convolution of signals in time domain that means if you convoluted these two signals in time domain you are going to get multiplication of spectrums in frequency domain. So, that means if you convoluted these two signals, the resultant spectrum is equivalent to multiplication of individual spectrums. So, similarly, so here we are having multiplication property, multiplication property. This multiplication property states that multiplication of two signals in time domain will lead to convolution of spectrums in frequency domain. So, convolution of spectrums means x1 of s convolution with x2 of s. So, you will get some constant 2 pi j. If you consider 1 by 2 pi j in standard equation, you will also get 1 by 2 pi j here. In some cases, some people are not considering 1 by 2 pi j according to the options you can consider. So, here I want to prove this property. So, here if you want to prove for this property. So, I want to consider basic Laplace transform equation of x of t, any signal x of t. The Laplace transform of x of t is equivalent to, it is always represented with x of s that is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus s t dt. But we do not want Laplace transform of x of t. We need Laplace transform of convolution of these signals we need to prove like this. So, that is why I am considering Laplace transform of x1 of t convolution with x2 of t like this. So, this is a resultant signal x1 of t is a signal x2 of t is a signal the convolution of those two signal will lead say resultant another signal. So, here that resultant signal for that resultant signal we need to derive the Laplace transform. So, here in place of signal whatever resultant signal is there that we need to substitute integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of t convolution with x2 of t into e power minus est dt. This is Laplace transform of convolution of these two signals, but we know convolution value we know convolution formula. So, that formula I am writing integral minus infinity to infinity convolution formula is integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of tau x2 of t minus tau d tau this is convolution formula. So, in place of this I am substituting this remaining I am writing as it is st dt. So, here for simplif simplification I am going to consider t minus tau is equivalent to u. Always tau is a constant, constant delay, tau is a delay parameter. So, that will be in, in terms of integers 1, 2, minus 1 or plus 1 like that. So, tau if you take in differentiation it will become 0. u is a time factor that this is a also a time factor and this is also a variable time factor. So, here t is equivalent to u plus tau. So, dt is equivalent to d tau. So, all these considerations I am substituting in this equation. So, you are going to get integral minus infinity to infinity, integral minus infinity to infinity, 
x1 of tau x2 of t minus tau t minus tau plus you can write u onwards so u d tau e power minus s t means so here in place of t you can write u plus tau and in place of dt you can write d tau now here i am separating all this integration into two different integrals as i am having two integrations so here i am writing one bunch integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of tau here e power minus s tau i am writing e power minus s tau and this d tau i am writing as a bunch not d tau this is du why because tau is a constant factor here dt is equivalent to du so here you are having du in place of dt you need to write du so now i am writing x1 of tau and e power minus s tau d tau this is as tau all tau variables as one set and all u variables as one set integral minus infinity to infinity x2 of u e power minus s u du please observe these two equations this is in the form of laplace transform equation that means integral x if you replace a tau and u with t then x1 of t e power minus s t dt that means laplace transform of x1 of t here x2 of t e power minus s t dt laplace transform of x2 of t laplace transform of x of t is x of s means laplace transform of x1 of t will become x1 of s and laplace transform of x2 of t will become x2 of s then definitely we can write these two equations as so laplace transform of i am writing like this so again i am writing convolution property laplace transform of x1 of t convolution with x2 of t is equal to this bunch i can write like x1 of s into x2 of s so this one i can write like x2 of s so you can see hence proved so by this way we can prove multiplication property also so here i need to prove this that means laplace transform of this is equivalent to 1 by 2 pi j x1 of s convolution with x2 of s but here i want to process in reverse way that means if you want to prove laplace transform of this is equivalent to this obviously inverse laplace transform of this is equivalent to this now here you can see i am writing <coughs> i am not taking this 2 by j generally i am considering like this if you want to prove multiplication in time domain is equivalent to convolution in frequency domain i am not considering that uh, constant factor if you want to consider you can so here if you want to prove x1 of t multiplication with x2 of t is having spectrum equivalent to x1 of s convolution with x2 of s i am taking like this inverse laplace transform of x1 of s convolution with x2 of s if you calculated this you need to get this then then also this property is said to be proved so you know inverse laplace transform equation general inverse laplace transform equation of x of s you know that is equivalent to so integral minus infinity to infinity x of s into e power est ds this is inverse transform equation so same equation i am applying for this in the form of spectrum we are having convolution of spectrums that resultant spectrum i am substituting here in place of x of s i am substituting this rest is same integral minus infinity to infinity so in place of x of s i can take x1 of s convolution with x2 of s and e power est ds and you know convolution formula similar to this i am going to process there so that is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of s convolution with convolution means so here i am taking like this x1 of tau x2 of t minus tau d tau if you are having x1 of t and x2 of t you are writing x1 of tau x2 of t minus tau 
d tau like this you are writing. So, here I am writing x1 of tau x2 of s minus tau in place of t I am having s. You can see x1 of t x2 of t x1 of tau x2 of t minus tau d tau in place of t I am having s there. So, that is why x1 of tau x2 of s minus tau d tau and remaining is e power s t d s. So, again I am considering s minus tau is equivalent to u. Tau is a constant remaining two variables are vary, varying variables. So, from this s is equivalent to u plus tau and from this d s is equivalent to d u you can write. So, that is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity x 1 of tau x 2 of s minus tau plus you can write u and d tau e power s into. So, in place of uh, in place of what? Uh, sorry in place of s yes, you can write u plus tau into t u plus tau into t. So, in place of ds you can write du again. So, here when you substituted this you are having another integration right. So, in formula you are having integration in convolution formula you are having another integration. So, you will get two integrations. So, that two integrations I will separate so, x1 of tau, so all tau variables e power tau t, tau t and uh, this is d tau. So, see x1 of s e power s t d s that is in the form of inverse transform and here I am writing another thing. So, now this is equivalent to you can see another thing I am writing. So, another integration. So, that is u domain x2 of u e power ut du. If you imagine s in place of tau and u, this is x1 of s e power st ds and x2 of s e power st ds. That means inverse Laplace transform of x of s only. So, this is equivalent to inverse Laplace transform of x of s is nothing but signal. So, here this is x1 of t. So, multiplication with x2 of t. So, for which you got this result means inverse Laplace transform of x1 of s convolution with x2 of s. If you send this inverse Laplace transform to this side. So, now finally this is equivalent to this. If you send this inverse Laplace transform this side, so finally you can say Laplace transform of x1 of t into x2 of t is equal into x1 of s convolution with x2 of s. You, if you consider that constant 1 by 2 pi j that will follow in derivation. Finally, you will get 1 by 2 pi j. So, here x1 of t into x2 of t is equal to Laplace transform of x1 of t into x2 of t is equal to x1 of s convolution with x2 of s. So, like this uh, you can solve so many problems by using these properties. We will see in future we will see in future videos we will see so many problems related to multiplication and convolution properties. These properties are very very important when you are solving gate problems.